ஸ்ரீ கிருஷ்ணா இன் பிருந்தாவன் ஆஃப்டர் விட்னஸிங் செவரல் சச் கலாமிட்டீஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப்டர் அனதர் இன் விச் ஸ்ரீ கிருஷ்ணா சம் ஹவ் எஸ்கேப்ட் அன்ஹர்ட் the elderly folk of gokula decided that it would be wise for them to leave gokula and settle in some other safe locality they selected brindavan as a very convenient site they loaded all their belongings in carts and set off the ladies were seated in carts the men folk walked in front driving their cattle some were beating the drums and blowing the bugles and were marching in front rohini and yashoda were seated in one cart with balarama and shri krishna and were immersed in the joy of fondling their babies it was more like a merry picnic excursion than a melancholy migration what with blowing of pipes of trumpets and singing of chorus songs they reached brindavan and settled there happily slowly shri krishna and balarama grew up they used to play in the meadows and the sands of the river kalindi they used to have some sports or sing some songs or play on the flute as a pastime one day a demon called vatsa asura from mathura being deputed by kamsa came in the form of a big calf and joined the herd of cows while the cattle were grazing in the meadows shri krishna came to know of it and secretly informed balarama shri krishna began to put at the calf praise it and in many other ways pretended to show great intimacy with it slowly he got hold of its four legs and tail lifted it high up and smashed it on the ground it breathed its last raised no more from the ground and its body stretched out in its original form of a demon there was great rejoicing at the performance of shri krishna a few days later the how the cowherd boys saw a big crane it was bakasura a demon friend of kamsa come in disguise while the boys were playing about the crane had all its eyes on shri krishna when shri krishna walked very near it the crane swallowed him whole into its mouth into its mouth shri krishna allowed himself to be swallowed and having gone into its throat he neither went in nor came out the crane was suffocated and so it vomited him out shri krishna then caught hold of its two beaks and tore the bird into two and the demon was dead as shri krishna and balarama grew a little older they used to join the other cowherd boys and go to the pasture fields driving the calves and cows for grazing they used to spend their day time in the meadows and return in the evenings in the morning the boys would carry their food in rope nets which were suspended to a bamboo stick on either ends the stick used to be balanced by the boys on their shoulders in the pasture fields they would hang the sticks on some trees so that dogs or other animals might not touch the food free of all care they used to play about while the cattle grazed they would play tricks and games in catches one would steal the food of another and hand it over to another and a third would fetch it and return it back to the owner thus they used to spend their time merrily the demon agasura brother of bakasura wanted to take vengeance on shri krishna for killing his brother he thought that if shri krishna were killed all the rest of the gods would get destroyed without trouble one day he took the shape of a python and laid himself on the way of the cowherd boys the cowherd boys saw the python and said to themselves when shri krishna is present with us for protection what fear is there for us if the python swallows us he will meet the fate of the crane no fear let us march on they went that way and the python swallowed them one and all shri krishna pitied them for their foolish act and blind devotion and decided to rescue them he followed behind the boys 
the python swallowed him as well as he went in he expanded his body as he did at one time before the emperor bali and obstructed the breathing of the demon struggling for breath the demon lost his life all the boys came out of the python's mouth a resplendent glow emerged from the body of the python and merged in shri krishna because of the very touch of him all the sins of the demon were dissolved and he became pure sattva and so was able to merge with the self a few days later the cowherd boys along with shri krishna were playing in the distant pasture fields while tending their herd it was midday they sat together in a semi circle around shri krishna and were taking their food making as much fun as they could carefree and happy shri krishna looked afar the cattle were not to be seen anywhere near about he advised the boys to have their food leisurely and he got up saying that he would bring back the cattle as he went on searching there was no trace of the cattle anywhere he returned back and found that the boys too were not there where he had left them he called out their names one after another there was no response he sat down and thought over calmly he knew that it was all the mischief mischief of brahma he knew that nothing had happened there to bring displeasure to the creator let him have his foolish sport i will return home but why should i report that the cattle and boys are missing i will myself take the forms of the cattle and the boys as well and see that the folk at home will have no suspicion of what had happened here so he transformed himself as the calves cows and cowherd boys exactly as the originals he called the boys by the names and bade them drive the cattle he also drove the calves all the while ordering and obeying himself as the drivers and the driven to illustrate sarvam kalvidam brahma the cattle entered their respective houses their calves followed them and the boys embraced their parents life went on as usual like this without any fuss for full one year one day balarama followed shri krishna to the pasture lands he found something strange he looked intuitively but could not get a proper solution he asked shri krishna brother till now i was under the impression that the cattle were all the reincarnation of rishis and all the cowherds of the gods but today i find that they are all only your gracious self and not any other thing what is this play please enlighten me shri krishna explained that it was all due to the deception of brahma and asked him to have patience to know the outcome this one year for the cowherds was just a few minutes for brahma in his value of time Brahma opened his eyes and again saw at the fields there were new cattle and new boys he was astonished how did this get created i am the only creator there is none else the cattle and boys that i have kept hidden are safe how did these happen to be here as he was contemplating he looked at shri krishna and balarama he could see only lord vishnu in their forms and in the forms of the boys and all the cattle brahma because he was the creator wanted to deceive the supreme lord shri krishna and by his foolish actions he got himself deceived he approached fell at the feet of shri krishna and touched them with his four heads several times then got up he was ashamed to look at the lord with the downcast eyes he began to praise him with all his four mouths i salute the resplendent figure of the lord standing as the blue boy of brindavan with the flute in hand wearing precious earrings peacock pl- plumes on the head fragrant garlands on the chest feet like the lotus flowers 
with the enchanting and never fading smile on his face who is the ocean of mercy and who has now condescended to play about as nanda's son in this holy brindavan the statue the status of brahma leave, learning the four vedas performing great sacrifices and undertaking severe austerities are worth nothing when compared to the love and devotion shown by the people of the vraja and the cows and calves to you because you have condescended to take their forms and live for them what more grace can any one aspire for this body inhabited by the enemies called raga and dvesha is only a prison house if there is no devotion for the lord in it you are here to remove the delusions and ignorance of others my attempt to delude you has resulted in deluding myself who can gauge the depth of your intentions i am your son because i came out of your navel like a mother who pardons the faults of her son please pardon me for my impertinence thus saying brahma saluted shri krishna again and went away the cows calves and the boys that were hidden by brahma appeared and ran towards shri krishna with great eagerness the lord withdrew all the substitutes that he had created on account of the influence of his maya all of them felt that it was only a few moments that elapsed during which they were deprived of the proximity of the lord shri krishna balarama and all the cowherd boys started for home in the evening gathering the cattle calling them as usual by their individual names as bagirathi bharati chandrika chintamani ganga gautami lakshmi mangala Manohari, Mandakini, Maruti, Sudha, Shubangi, Surabi, Suguna, etc. Collected them together and moved on, recollecting the adventures of Shri Krishna, showing the dry skin of the python and the scattered feathers of the crane on their way home. There was a big garden of palm trees very near the pasture land where the boys used to go frequently but it was infested by a demon called denuka and his followers one summer morning the trees were full of ripe fruit and by the blowing winds their strong smell spread over long distances the cowherd boys requested balarama to kindly get them some fruits as they could not resist the attractive smell Balarama who had performed great many feats already accepted to their request he went straight into the garden and shook some palm trees and the fruits fell down like hailstones while falling they produced a great noise the demon who was far away ran there thinking that he had secured some fine human food for the day he was living in the form of a donkey he came and kicked balarama with his hind legs to the chest balarama caught hold of those two legs and threw him on the palm trees as if he was a small stone the demon fell down dead along with the trees his followers ran up to the scene and attacked balarama and he repeated his performance and the whole lot of the demons was cleared off the palm garden and it was made available for the benefit of man the boys had a good feed of the ripe palm fruit and felt so happy and they thanked balarama immensely in the evenings when shri krishna along with balarama returned home all the ladies of brindavan would be waiting outside their houses to drink the nectar of his sight which they had foregone during the day his gracious look his peacock plume his song of the flute and his very presence they would apprehend him from a distance by the cry of the calves and cows and the music of his flute yashoda and rohini would clasp them give them a good bath and fresh clothes and hot food very soon the brothers would be in their beds having sound sleep till next morning